Okay. Welcome back to Financial Solutions today. So I am your coach, Jay, and we are here to help you build your wealth. So today we are we will talk about six words, six words to financial success. Or we may say six words that will help you in your financial plan. Okay. So I've learned this uh, from Robert Kiyosaki. As uh, Robert Kiyosaki's trainings. So you can also watch some of his training in the YouTube or read his books. I have also his, his books and they really help you a lot. Okay. So let's talk about that. What is that six words? Six words to your financial success. Okay? Ayan. So we will uh, illustrate it. So we have here, we have the income. That's the first word. Then we have the expenses. That's the second word. Then here, we have what we call the asset versus the liability. So this is something that you build. So the question is, where does your cash flow? Okay. So meaning, for example, if you buy a car, where does your, where is what is car? Is it asset or liability? So the question is, what is asset? What is liability? Asset, if you acquire this, it will bring money to your pocket. Okay? While liabilities, it will take out money to your pocket. So meaning when you buy a car, so what will happen when you buy a car? Will it bring money to your pocket or will it bring money out of your pocket? So of course, when you buy a car, you will pay for gasoline, for insurance. So meaning, this, this will go through your liability kasi Pupunta sa expenses yung pera. So you will take out. So when 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 you when something goes to your expenses, it will take out money to your pocket. So what are those expenses? Gasoline. So mahalang gasoline ngayon, ano? Uh, what other expenses? Maintenance, change oil, insurance, and so on and so forth. Okay? At the same, on the other hand, what is asset? So, what about when you buy a property? Okay. So, is it asset or liabilities? So, will it will it put money to your pocket or it will money out of your pocket? Where does the cash flow? So, we have six words here. The income, expenses, asset, liability, cash flow. So, pag bumili ka ng bahay or bumili ka ng properties, it depends. Yung bahay itself, the building, it may be a liability. Okay, the house itself can be a liability because there's also a maintenance. There is taxes in your house. Okay, so let's clear this out. So, again, these are the six words. So, we have... Will it put money to your pocket? So meaning that's income. You're making money here. Or it will take out money to your pocket. So that expenses. The source of your cash flow. Where does the cash flow? Is it asset or is it liability? Okay. So here, kanina sinabi na natin yung car is liability because 
ang daming gastos. Yung house, it can also liability dahil may mga maintenance din siya, may mga taxes. And the most important thing is the value of the value of pag liability, the value always depreciate. While in asset, the value appreciate. How about when you buy farm lot? So, um, yes, for example, you buy farm lot here. It can be asset. Why? Because the value goes up, pero kailan siya magdadala ng income? Kailan siya magdadala ng pera to your pocket? Maybe in the years to come. So, meaning, magig ang farm lot, pwede siya maging uh, income producing asset kung halimbawa ipapalis mo siya or you will uh, put a plantation wherein every now and then it put money to your pocket so it becomes asset at the same time there are also liabilities liability can also be converted into what we call income producing asset why if this car is used in business so meaning ko halimbawa ang gastos mo sa gasolina ay 1000 pesos but it brings ginamit mo siya sa negosyo then ang negosyong nakuha mo is 2000 pesos 1000 2000 minus 1000 then it brings 1000 to your pocket are you learning? So that's the difference between asset and liability. Even this house, how can you turn this house into an asset? If you put house here, then you can turn this into a rental. So pag may rental monthly, it put pockets to your, it put money to your pocket. So meaning, this is the solution that we need to help, we need to, uh, learn every day of our life no how are we going to put money to our pocket how are we go how can a cash flow to our pocket instead cash flow out of our pocket it's really between income versus expenses are you learning so here we say that financial intelligence Okay, so financial intelligence is the ability to, to control cash flow. So where does your cash flow? Does your cash flow to your liability or your cash flow to your asset? Magdadala ba siya ng pera sa bulsa mo or magtatanggal ng pera? Sa bulsa mo. So, are you learning? Let's review again. Asset. Asset is will put money to your pocket. Basta maglalagay ng pera sa bulsa mo. <laughs> That's asset. And this is something that we are looking for. So, hindi pa pwedeng bibili ka lang basta ng property. Make sure pag bumili ka ng something, when you acquire that something, it will put money to your pocket. On the other hand, if it is liability, it will take money out of your pocket. Okay, so when you buy a car, you pay for gasoline. So in, in short, asset gives you income where liability is your never-ending expenses. Are you learning? So here, truly, true enough, these are the six words that will help you. Six words that will help you in your financial success. Okay? So meaning, financial IQ, financial IQ here is can you control cash flow? 
So meaning every day of our life, we have to look for something that will bring money to our pocket. So hindi ka lang basta bibili ng property. Kasi kung yung bibili ka lang lang ng property, tas nakatiwangwang lang yung property, it will not put money to your pocket. Okay? So mag-aantay ka pa ng number of years. Pero kung bumili ka ng property, tas pinarentahan mo agad yung property na yan, pinataniman mo, that will bring money to your pocket. Are you learning? So that's why in this one, so financial IQ is can you control cash flow? And that IQ, that will lead us, ang ibig sabihin ng IQ dito is how big a problem how big a problem can you solve? So meaning, everything can be solved through this financial IQ. And this is, you have to find a way to put money to our pocket. Okay? So I hope that uh, you will uh, continue to, you will, uh, may I request everyone to please subscribe to Financial Solutions Today channel. Please don't forget also to like and to share it to everyone that needs this uh, particular topic. And also in our own life that we may be able to apply this. Okay, so in LSA, we have a lot of program and this is really the focus of the program, how to put money in our pocket. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless everyone.